The reason we're calling it confederation because it's a conglomerate of all the federations in each frequency spectrum. The, it's, it's been known that the Galactic Confederation is the Council of Twelve and has been for some time, but secretly run by the Council of Nine. Basically, that's what's been going on. Okay? Because the light, with the two expressions of energy, the light was seen to be passive in its own right, and that energy was the one preferred to be utilised for establishing, first establishing the Galactic Confederation of light. Now it's openly run by the Council of Nine, by the energy of balance. Okay, so now I'm going through, that was a bit of ancient history on the Confederation. It sits in the star system known as uh, Lyra. Okay. It's pretty much the governing body. It's kind of like the United Nations here on Earth. And uh, it's run in line with the creational hierarchy, with the hierarchical forces of creation. It's not a religious structure. It's just when you understand what is, you work with that, you respect that hierarchical structure and you work with it, and that's all there is to it. It's, it's not about illusion, uh, control, it's none of that. Uh, in some of the TV shows like, uh, I believe, Star Trek, they talked about the, the universal law of non-interference, and that is a fact, and that's why I'm here talking to you. you. Our planet is surrounded by ships of the Federation, but we're not showing ourselves because not enough people here want us to come in yet and help. And that is an absolute fact of reality. If we have more people on this planet that want us to come here and help, we will immediately come in. We're ready to go, absolutely ready to go. New technologies, everything. Restructure the whole planet. We can do it. We've done it many times over. We've restructured entire star systems in many different dimensional realities. We are proficient at this and it would be done peacefully, calmly, sanely, with the utmost respect of every culture, and that's what we're waiting for. We're negotiating with the authorities on the planet and it's important that this message gets out. That we start saying, hey, we're coming to the close of a cycle. Something's got to give. At the moment, the authorities don't wish to give. So something else is going to give. And we are a fork in the road. We are at a fork in the road. And as a, a sitting councillor of the Federation and the Syrian Council, I put this message forward to this planet and it's important that this message gets out because if we do not come in and start changing the operational frequency of humanity on this planet then the planet herself as a living being is going to do it herself and it's not a doomsday prediction it's just what is. It's the operational frequency of the planet and the planetary systems and we really need to understand that. It's not sitting here saying you're all going to die, not, nothing like that. I don't want to enter that energy, okay? It's not about that. It's just understanding the uh, evolutionary processes that are here today at hand and the ones that are rapidly approaching for all of us. It's important that you do that because it's not about everyone copying it, okay? It's not about that. No, the governments are just puppets. They're just tools that are used to... Uh, what it is, is a handful of... Um, I've, I've had personal interactions with uh, the, the one that sits at the top of the tree. I'll just refer to him as the beast. That's it. Um, he's, he's really stubborn. Um, he's, in, he's the one that pulls the strings and the rest of them. It's a couple of rebel establishments from out in the cosmos. This is a universal planet here, and you have an incarnational form here, all different races from out there. And each celestial management structure out there has a finger in the pie here. And what's happened is, is the rebel group has gotten, gotten it out of control. 6,000 years ago they came to the planet and it's been out of control. Okay, they're the residual of the Alpha Draconians, Alpha Draconians, we know them as Draconians, hence we have what's called Draconian Laws. Uh, also, um, some of them are known as Reptoids or Reptilian beings, and that's why you have uh, the big dragon on the Welsh flag, you kind of think, well, what's that? What, what is that all about? And you have 
The Chinese that dance to the dragon, why? Why do they worship the snake and the dragon? It's in the Egyptian culture, part of my culture. And it's, it's a matter of understanding what that's about. And, you know, we're talking about only a handful. Uh, basically, the, the vast, overwhelming majority of life of all the serpent races out there are now with the light. Uh, beautiful, wondrous, peaceful beings. Okay? The three queens of Orion are serpent beings, and they are Christed beings. Okay? Each one of them. Glorious beings. Okay? And they are here on the planet. And they'll come forward when the time is right. Everyone's here. Okay? And so, yeah, there is a small handful of people that they only know greed and power. And uh, it's timely. I'll bring this out now. This is the philosophy that they operate under. Okay? It's a very important message we get this out and this understanding gets out. This is their philosophy. Govern the people with authority to establish peace under the rule of law. To conquer the mighty and to show them mercy only once they are conquered. Now that is the philosophy we're talking about. So govern the people under, to establish peace under the rule of law. So whose laws? What set of laws are we talking about? So what they deem peace is really control. When they have you under their control, under their structure, their rules, their regulations, okay, their operational organisations, that's their version of peace. You are not free. You are nowhere near free. You are not allowed to express yourself. You are enslaved into a system where you must work to survive. And soon we will be out of the survival mode. You will no longer work, no longer work to have to eat, to have to clothe yourself, to have to put a roof over your head. That will not be a part of our reality in the near future. As a member of the Syrian Council, and I speak with authority here, I will express the energy of authority, and it needs to go out to the authorities of this planet, that that will not, and I reiterate, will not be a part of this reality and the way we live and operate in the future. We are no longer slaves to their systems. We will be contributing and nurturing our natural talents to our communities because we will have that want inside of ourselves. We won't live under the energy of competition, of greed, of power, okay, of extreme egos. That will not be part of our existence. That will all be dissolved. That's what all the pain and suffering is that we're going through now, is dissolving that within each and every one of us. All right? And then you will have free time to express yourself and just be, be you. We will have devices where you can manifest all the clothing and all the food that you like. And you think this is all like Star Trek future stuff. Well, we come from the cosmos. We're highly evolved beings. We have incredible technologies. And the whole idea is to understand that the way we live and operate in the future cannot be detrimental to this planet. We can no longer hurt this planet. The way we currently live, what a city is to this planet, is what skin cancer is to you as an individual. That is a direct analogy. We can no longer continue to operate in this manner. All the technological devices we will be using will be either exactly in equilibrium with the harmonics of this planet or will be beneficial to the planet, will add. There will be nothing allowed to operate which will take any longer. That's it. And that's an absolute fact of reality. Whether you wish to come to terms with this or not, that is what's going to happen. And that's what the authorities of this planet need to understand. That it is not us, as, as a power that sits out there, that wishes to come in and occupy. It's not about that. We're in line with the creational forces. We are in line with the evolutionary process of the beings on this planet. And now the way we govern is self-responsibility, self